world where the battle between J Jonathan Martin, who left the team, claiming he was uh, bullied and harassed by um, Richie Incognito. Uh, that saga continues. Uh, everybody's got lawyers, the coach of the Dolphins, and the assistant coaches on the hot seat as to whether they knew and or encouraged uh, this kind of uh, uh, behavior by Incognito. And the question is, you know, when people say bullied, encouraged uh, this kind of uh, uh, behavior by Incognito. And the question is, you know, when people say bullying, then it's threats, extortion, and intimidation. And, and if it's racism, it's racism. It's not bullying. I mean, we're going to say now that NFL players and grown adults are bullied, or is someone breaking the law in the way they're treating you? Joining us now to talk about all this and maybe put it in better perspective than I can is Ryan Riddle. And uh, for those of you who are fans of the Raiders, the Jets, the Falcons, the Ravens, or if you uh, read his uh, column as a, as a writer and draft analyst for Bleacher Report, you know uh, Ryan Riddle very well. Hello, Ryan. Hello. How are you doing, Adam? Uh, I'm doing well. No, this is Steve. Steve. That's Steve. okay. That's okay. Adam set it up. Uh, 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 I appreciate you being with us. Okay, so uh, you wrote a piece um, uh, talking about how you were the team weirdo for the Jets. But before we get to that, talk about as far as you know, you know, uh, from what we've all heard and, and, and your own reporting, what's been going on in, in, with the Dolphins. Is is this a case of uh, of bullying? Did Incognito take this too far? Uh, did the Dolphins encourage this? And, and whose heads are going to roll here? Yeah, and I was listening to what you were saying, which is interesting about the, the term bullying itself and how it's being used in the NFL backdrop. Uh, it's, it seems an inappropriate term to use in this scenario under these contexts and seems an inappropriate term to use in this scenario under these contexts. And, I mean, the people closest to that organization, the offensive linemen, and what they've had to say would insinuate Otherwise, or however, he's a very easy target to be uh, more or less the villain, as his reputation would lean in, lean in that direction. But, you know, we have to keep in mind and remember that at the end of the day, this is football. These guys are getting paid to beat each other up. They're getting paid to make some of the strongest men in the world bleed, to knock them over, to smash their heads in put mud in their face and under that context the way that men grown men are going to talk to each other and and sort of banter and interact behind closed doors outside of media and PR and what everyone else in the outside world thinks that's going to be a different sounding environment than you know maybe a professional office that has to keep everything very you know professional and PG, so to speak. No, no, and don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm no fan of political correctness, and I think, you know, we've gone way too far in, 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 in from the military to businesses to everything. I just think it's it's become impossible to be yourself or to, to you know, yeah. to, to, to interact with people without fear of saying the wrong thing. But from from the from the uh, email or text or email that we saw, I think ESPN got a hold of it or somebody did. They left out, you know, the curse words. They, they put the letters and left some of them out. I mean, that's... That's to me. That's you know. That's pretty brutal stuff. Then it's incumbent upon. I mean, and the threats and the you know and the the physical the threats of physical harm and a racially charged physical harm. Uh, if in fact, and this appears to be commonplace, uh, they extort money out of these rookies and and, and say give us fifteen thousand dollars so we could go to Vegas. I don't know how they extorted it or if they just asked for it and they felt obligated. Then it's not extortion. So I don't know enough about it. But from what I've seen of of again, you're right. He's an easy villain. Suspended from his college teams, voted the NFL's most hated player. But, you know, players get so angry at him they throw their helmets at him. And he's been suspended. They've been suspended. But if the coach, what about what do you know about the coach? Would it be typical for a coach to say toughen this guy up to incognito talking about Martin? Yeah, and I actually, I think NFL co football coaches in general should be. Uh, have the ability without any backlash to want to toughen a player up and even ask another player to do that. I mean, did they ask the wrong player? It apparently appears so. We don't even know whether or not he or any coach has done this, but I would not have, I wouldn't bring out the the pitchforks and the ropes and hang a coach for saying something like that. You want to toughen up players, and there's various ways to do that. Obviously, anything Richie Incognito was doing was, was not productive and he didn't realize the inner turmoil 
that Jonathan Martin was going through. Um, as far as extortion, uh, I mean, f the way that I'm hearing the story, uh, it seems as though they had all planned a trip together t and funded it pre in advance to go to Vegas, and Jonathan Martin backed out in the last minutes, and that's just what I'm reading. Right, right. Of yeah, and they just asked him to foot the bill, and, and this is not an uncommon situation. No, I myself, you went, you went, you write about in your piece uh, at uh, the BleacherReport.com. I urge everyone to go there and read uh, your stories, uh, including this one, because we only got a minute left here. Is that uh, you? You know, you you talked about how rookies are treated in the NFL and the the hazing that might go a little too far, but the initiation and second-class citizens and when it comes to planes and dinner and, and everything else. Uh, uh, but, but So let me ask you in summing up here, and we have a minute left, what okay. do you think is going to happen here? Is Incognito's career finish? Or is the coach of the Dolphins, one or more of them, are their jobs on, uh, in jeopardy? What do you think is going to happen? It's an interesting question because if you would actually look at it from a football standpoint, coaches, GMs, and probably players would rather have Richie Young incognito on their team. I know that there was just a poll on ESPN that suggested otherwise, but I think the... the as opposed the to PR, Martin. They rather have yeah, incognito as opposed PR to Martin. Standpoint, yeah, but the public relations standpoint would probably sway away from incognito, whereas from the inner, inner uh, chemistry angle and uh, trust angle of locker room, I don't think that players feel very good about Jonathan Martin and his uh, abandonment of the Dolphins and going public was something that maybe could have been squashed rather fairly R Ryan, quickly. I hope you'll come back. Very insightful. Thank you very much. Uh, Reed Ryan, uh, writer and Thanks. draft analyst, uh, featured columnist for Bleacher Report, former um, Raider and Jet and Falcon and Raven uh, here on the Steve Malsberg Show. When we come back, Ruben Navarrete and I talk about a piece he wrote a little bit about me.